hello friends so welcome back today we are going to see how date picker is used in swift ui so sit back and relax and enjoy today's video so let's get started and create new xcode project let's select single view application let's name it as date picker Make sure the language is Swift and the user interface is Swift UI. Let's save it on our desktop. Okay, so let me just click resume here to make sure everything is working fine. Okay, so build is succeeded, so we can start. So as you um, still we are seeing some problem to our canvas view. So what we will do is we will check it on our simulator. So as you have seen in UI kit, you have the option of just directly taking the date picker from the interface where you can directly drag drop that you and date picker in storyboard or also you can use it programmatically. So same way here also you have you have option to add date picker. So our, to add a date picker, you should have one property which is of type state. So let's create that and let's name it as a date value it will be of having it will be having the value of today's date same like you like it and now now let's pass the that value to our date picker so date picker is having multiple options here as you can see it but we are going to use this one at the start which is title and selection so title is nothing but what title you want to give for your date picker so we will simply write date picker title and selection value here been as it is expecting a binding variable so as we have seen in previous videos binding variable is a two way binding variable which is given by a dollar sign and the state variable which is our date value so let's see if it's working or not okay so now it's uh, build is succeeded but somehow it is not working since i'm using xcode 11.5 the latest one so let's run it on our simulator and see okay so i have i have the dark mode on here so let's see how it looks in that okay so this is our date picker and this is the title of our date picker so it is sticking to the border so what we can do is we can give some padding so let's add this date picker first inside one um, v stack okay now let's run it okay and before running we can add here padding to our v stack also you would have directly added padding to a v stack that would also have worked but it's okay but now as you can see it's uh, taking everything vertically so let's uh, remove that and let's add padding to directly our date picker only okay now it's giving some spacing but it's again same but uh, since this uh, date picker title is not looking that good so what we can do is we can remove it so there are multiple options for that one you can just uh, just pass the empty string but that will still add some spacing you can see here see here that is still adding some spacing so to hide this completely you have the option like label is hidden so this modifier if you pass it will hide the that spacing part which is taking for the label so now you can see it has equal spacing on both the sides so this is the start how you can use the uh, date picker in swift ui but uh, all, apart from this you have multiple options like here now we have just only given a normal date picker which is straight forward a date value and it is showing that but apart from this what you can do is you can give the display mode also for your date picker so in that what you can do is you can tell what all things you want to show whether you want to show date or time or both so in default condition it is showing both but if you want to so show only time then you can do that so here you have two options or you can see the day or hour and minute so let's see one by one both the options let me just close this canvas view okay so now you can see i have only passed date so it is giving me 
month, day and year. Now I will pass hour and minute. Now let's see how it looks. So now it is showing only the time. So this is how you can modify your uh, display view of the date picker. Apart from this what you can do is you can pass a range also. So to pass a range or before passing range what we can see is now this date picker is here directly displaying but if you put this date picker inside form so it will completely look different and it will look much better you can see here I have just added this inside one form view let's run it and now you can see it's showing a row like table view and if I tap on this it will open that if I select different value this the value will get updated here and if I type it here again that will get closed so this all by just adding one form view and it is all done automatically for us so this is a very great feature from Swift UI. okay so that's for form view but uh, apart from this we can see one more thing that is range so to pass a range you need start and end value so let's create that first so what we are going to do is we are going to create two values one will be start date and one will be end date and we'll be pass both of them here so let's see that start date equals to let's pass the current date here and let end date let it be tomorrow's date by adding um, 86,400 seconds which is seconds in a day then uh, what we can do is now we can pass this range here by one option which is in so this in is nothing but range for your date so here what I am doing is I am passing the range from start date dot 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 till end date so this is my start and end date range let's see now let's open it so now today's date is selected if I scroll to maximum date whatever I can you can see that it will scroll back to the Thursday that is today is Wednesday but it is going to Thursday that is one day that we have given here that is the end date and if I go back as much as possible it will go to today's date only let's see yes that is my start date so this is how you can give the max and minimum range to your date picker apart from this here you have one more option where you can pass only start date and you can just uh, give this three dot 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 so your uh, date picker will understand that the minimum range is starting from here and maximum will be anything so let's check whether it is working or not and as you can see it is scrolling back to today's date as a minimum range let's do it for the uh, max range again same let's move the start date and let's run it again and let's check whether it's coming to Thursday or not yes it is so this is how you can use date picker with multiple options in Swift UI Hopefully you guys have uh, learned something new from today's video. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button so that I will keep on creating such videos. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.